Depending on where your baby is in your pelvis as your baby moves down and out, we can use different labor positions to help move your baby through more easily. Today, I'm gonna to share what those labor positions are for each point as your baby progresses through your pelvis. Our pelvis during labor is very flexible from the hormone relaxin and it can open up, but it doesn't just open up all at once. We can open up different parts of the pelvis, open up the top, we can wiggle baby through, and we can open up the outlet of the pelvis. Healthcare professionals use fetal stations to reference how far baby is through your pelvis. Hopefully your baby is coming through head first. So we're talking about the tip of the head, but it would actually be whatever part of the baby is coming through first. When the top of baby's head reaches the ischial spines, which are these bony protrusions on your pelvis, this is fetal station zero and baby's head is considered engaged in your pelvis. For first time moms, this may actually happen as early as 38 weeks when baby drops. This also may not happen until labor begins. You can see here, if you look at zero, that there are lines that go up. This is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Each of these lines is one centimeter up from fetal station zero. If baby is at minus five, it's five centimeters up from being engaged, it's still considered floating in the pelvis, and we want to engage baby into the pelvis. To help engage baby in the pelvis, we want to open the top of the pelvis, which is gonna be external rotation of your pelvis and knees out. Excellent positions are squatting on a birth stool with knees wide apart, yogi squat. You could also be on all fours with your knees wide. You can also use hip circles here or hip circles on the ball with your knees wide. If we look at the lines again, minus one to plus one is considered mid pelvis, and we want to wiggle baby through here with asymmetrical movements. Similar to how you might wiggle your finger out of your ring, you want to wiggle your hips to help move baby through. Excellent positions when your baby is mid pelvis are lunges, you can also sway back and forth. If you have an epidural, you could also be laying on your side with one foot up over the peanut ball. Every line below is another centimeter down. And you can remember these are the positive numbers because it's positive, you're gonna meet your baby soon. When you are at plus four or five, your baby will be crowning and it's time to open the outlet of our pelvis. We wanna do this with internal rotation so knees together, ankles apart. Excellent positions here are gonna be on all fours with knees in, ankles out. You could also create this in a squatting position, keeping your knees together, ankles out. Or if you have an epidural and you're sidelining, you could use the peanut ball, keeping your knees together and ankle up. You might be wondering, how do you know what fetal station you are at? Well, your provider can check you and tell you what fetal station you're at and ultrasound would also help. However, let's say you're trying to do as much of your laboring at home and your provider isn't there to check. It may be a little bit difficult to tell if your baby is still floating or fully engaged. However, research does show that we wanna keep moving during labor. So you could mix up some of these positions and so you could be squatting on the birth stool and then about five contractions later, you could move into a lunge and mix up the different positions with knees open and asymmetrical poses. It's a little bit easier to tell when you have reached plus four or five because likely you will start to feel pressure then and the urge to push. This will be the time to move into your internal rotation, knees together, ankles out. I will also link to my complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor. I'll link to that in the description box below, as well as my video on how to do perineal massage to prepare for your birth. You can also check out the whole playlist for natural birth preparation to help you create your positive birth. I will keep creating new pregnancy and postpartum workouts every week and birth education. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.